Well, I got into acting through filmmaking back in high school. Used to make movies with friends, and we premiered them at a local movie theater, and everyone would come out. And eventually, we needed actors to be in our own productions, and um, just kind of fell into it after high school. Started studying and pursuing it more, and yeah, here we are. I just always had a big love for film and, and TV. Like growing up, movies were massively influential on on me and my family, and um, I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to explore different people and um, explore different worlds and kind of elicit that same emotion that movies did for me and other people. It's just a, a simple audition, you know, going in, seeing the casting director, doing a couple takes and that was it. Um, it, was, it was very exciting. It was definitely a, a breakthrough for me. It was good because it was easy. It wasn't, it wasn't too high pressure. I think I was playing a dead body most of the time that, you know, had a couple lines in a voicemail that I left another character. So it was a good gradual ease into being on set, learning how everything worked and just getting comfortable. So I'm glad it wasn't too high pressure right off the top. Working on both of those films are amazing experiences. Um, Working on Infamous with Bella Thorne, she's a fantastic artist, actress. She made everything so natural and, and just visceral, and we got along great, which I think was just really important for those two characters. Um, they interact so much. There's a lot of physicality between them, and um, yeah, just I, I learned a lot from her and, and seeing her. She brings a lot of experience to everything she's done. Working on Holiday with Emma Roberts was so much fun. I mean, besides her, the, the whole cast, big ensemble cast of really funny people. The script was amazing. It's probably the most fun I've ever had working on a movie. I'd say the hardest part about working on Infamous was definitely the physicality. Like, we were doing so much action every day, um, carrying weapons at some points and a lot of car driving so it was just it took a lot out of, out of you and at the end of the day you you felt kind of beat up but in the best way possible you felt like you're really working and, and sweating so um, that was great I don't it's hard for me to, to pick something with holiday that was hard because it was just so much fun when you're working on a comedy and you just get to go to set every day and laugh with everyone and and have fun it was it was just super refreshing um, so just such a positive experience I loved it all. I mean, Infamous was, was hard and challenging, but that was also very rewarding, learning to do new skills like work with weapons and, and do some stunt driving and, and get in these fight sequences. Um, it, was, it was challenging, but, but very, very rewarding. And um, on holiday, the, the whole film was just a blast. I mean, on set and off set, we all hung out and, and kind of got together and had some fun dinners and just all the dialogue within the scenes. The script was so, was so funny, so it's just the whole movie was a blast. I think number one is, right now, it's always changing, but I really like Killian Murphy, the work he does. Um, he's just such a great character actor and um, diversifying his kind of portfolio of work, so it's something that I'd like to emulate in, in my career. Um, but others, definitely like Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, um, Tom Hanks, Nicole Kidman, like people like this, um, definitely admire and look up to. Well, I think it always starts with the script. I mean, you gotta kind of dissect who this character is, um, drawing similarities between yourself, but just a lot of research and as much prep as you can. I mean, with the order, I felt like that character is a lot more similar to me than a role like Infamous. Infamous, I had to do a lot more kind of prep and uh, the writer-director, Josh Caldwell, was amazing at, at giving me material. I mean, this is a character that just got out of prison and he was able to connect me with an actual uh, ex-con who was great at lending his kind of perspective to this character and um, getting into that headspace, but just little things like wardrobe and um, Physicality for Infamous, it was, you know, smoking a lot because uh, this character, that was something that he did. But um, So it's, it's always different, but just researching as much as you can. I 
I think they can expect it's it's even better than season one. Uh, it's crazy new characters. We got some really good guest star cameos of some well-known actors that I think fans will love, and um, yeah, just just more of that expansive world that they can kind of dive into and and learn about. So I think they'll like it more than season one. I like changing it up. I like always trying something new, um, but working on a comedy, like I said, with Holiday, it was just so refreshing because, uh, yeah, just to go and have fun with everyone every day, but I just want to keep changing it up, kind of have a different rotation of genres and, and stories, but I really like also telling like a, a true story, real characters. Um, that's really meaningful to me. Uh, I'm not picky. I'd say the one one thing that I want is just water, like bottles of water in the trailer or at the chair. I get I get thirsty and yeah, you, you need it to brush your teeth and things like that. So I that's the only thing I really need water. I just like getting outside, hanging out with friends and family, um, traveling when I can. I love seeing different parts of the world and um, learning instruments, guitar mostly. But um, yeah, that's it. I mean, the best piece of advice I ever got was to enjoy the process. No matter what you're doing, if it's auditioning, reading scripts, or trying to get an agent, if you're having fun doing it and enjoying it, it's just, it's just a lot easier to do. And I think your work translates that much better. So yeah, that's what I would tell myself if I was younger or other actors, it's just, if you're not enjoying it, then uh, there's not as much point. So just try and have as much fun as you can, because you can always find a way to, to enjoy it and have fun. I mean, I'm trying not to think too hard on that. I just want to do what I do and enjoy it. And, and uh, if it brings people entertainment or joy, it can elicit feelings. But I think just being able to help people break down barriers and and uh, break down walls through through filmmaking, through telling stories and gaining perspective of characters and what they're going through. I think that would be really important takeaway for for people that are watching my films.